Hello everybody, it's Andy here from AM Media Games. In this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up random events. So this is like really good for any game really, uh, horror games or even weather events. Um, so without further ado, let me jump in and show you how to set that up. So the first thing we're going to go, <coughs> go and do is, excuse me, is go into our level blueprint. And in here, we're going to search for a couple of important nodes. I'm going to set those up. So uh, we're going to get random integer in range. This is important because this will give us values to set, which we'll pick between. So we can have zero to as many as we need in terms of random events. So we're going to use this node to determine a random value to switch on int. So we're going to get a switch on int for this one. And this is going to allow us to add custom events as the output value on our add pin. So the more we add, the more events that we can have. So this is now five, or should I say six random events, because it always starts on zero, zero being your default value. So here we want to have the corresponding value for our minimum which is zero and our maximum which will be six because there's six in total so we're going to go and get out of this one and uh, we're going to set this one to six oops not 60 and we're going to call an event here to set this up so we're going to get a custom event, add a custom event, and this is going to be our random events. So we have our random event, um, custom event here that we've made. We have our random integer in range. We've got our switch on int. So this will pick a value between one of these. Out of this, you can have as many custom events, or you can set up a custom event. You can have as many as you need. So we're going to go and set a delay. Out of the delay, we're going to get a random duration. So random floating range. So this will give us a little bit more control over the, the kind of the randomness value and how often it fires off. So within, within this value here, we have our minimum time amount that it can take between resetting this random event code. So we're gonna set this to 10, and then set this one to maybe like uh, 30. So between every 10 seconds and 30 seconds, it will call, sorry, it will allow this then to fire off for the next random event. So we can stick, stick that one there in the uh, input from out the output and completed into the input on the switch on in. Now we need to make some custom events for this code to work. And we also need to call this one when we load into the level or at least at the uh, event begin play, etc. So let's do um, a custom event. So let's create one here. Uh, so let's do uh, add custom then I'm going to call this one light off <clears throat> and then out of this we're going to get let's go and add a point light let's add that there I'm going to add a small <coughs> excuse me small cube just to um, show us exactly where that point light is let's pop that there and move that into the center give or take that'll do so we've got one there and we can then copy this we'll make this one red and then we can copy this one and we'll make this one blue Let's get our directional light and set that down to zero. So we have our white and red and blue. Let's make a little bit more of a space between them. OK. 
Okay. So there we have our three light sources. And we can add custom events to these just to show how it works. So we're going to take this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to create references to these. Uh, just like this. So I'm going to get light one, which, uh, which was our white light. <clears throat> and out of this, we're going to get a uh, set visibility, light component, and then plug that into there. And then we're going to leave that as blank. And then we're going to create another event for this one. So let's copy that and paste it. Let's make this one uh, light light off or on, sorry. <clears throat> let's change that one to light off one, light on one. Compile that. And this one's gonna be on. So then we can call these events out of the switch on in go to uh, so we've got them here in our graphs at the top left so we can do uh, light off on this one light on on this one and then we could do the same for the other two so let's copy this let's paste it change this one to light uh, off Two, and then this one to light on two and we're gonna take the point light and delete those two take point light two copy that paste it and connect that into these two values compile that so now we have a uh, point light two set up Point light one set up, so we we'll just do the same again for this one. You don't have to do this. Obviously, you can you can create your own custom events. <clears throat> it could be a door opening and closing. It could be lightning strikes, uh, random weather events, whatever it is that you want to add as your custom event. This is how you would just kind of set it up in this kind of a in this manner. So we're gonna do the last one now for this one. So we're gonna go to uh, point light three. I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. Delete those two. I'm going to copy that, paste that, connect them both up to the target for our light component. And then we're going to name this one to light off three. And then I'm going to name this one to light off, uh, sorry, light on three. Oops. Uh, light on three. So we've got light off three, light on three, and then two, and then one. So we've got all of those set up. And then we need to connect all of these up. So we're going to move that one up there, move that one there. And then we're going to go and get um, off and on. You don't have to set them up uniform. You can stagger them as well. You don't have to set them up how I have set them up. Um, the only important thing at the end of this is that we're going to connect all of these to a delay. So let's get a delay by holding D and then left click. I'm going to connect all of them in just like this. So whenever the event has been called, it can then recall this value, reset it, and then fire off this code again to pick another random event. So the duration of this one, we're just going to get a random float uh, in range. I'm going to set this up to be uh, 10 and 30, just like the other one. And then out of this, we need to call our random events because we're going to refire this code off, call another random event. And that's how you would set up random events. Now, obviously the more complicated your event will be, the bigger this code will be. But the only important part there really is to make sure that you connect the event graph side of it, one of these into one of these. So it has to make sure that you connect it into the switch on in, and then it goes into a delay. You don't have to use a delay if you don't want to. Your delay side can come here. So it will always delay anyway. It will fire off the code regardless, even if you connect it to the random event. 
it will fire the code but it will then it will delay itself here but just adding the extra delay there stops it from potentially firing off too quickly so you could have this one as shorter this one as longer or this one short and this one long and then you make sure that you've got your values set up and then you've got your switch on in with your custom events um, and then the important thing now is our event begin play uh, so that's P and left click to get event begin play and then we're going to call our random events so let's start that on a delay actually so do a delay a very short one so after five seconds it'll start the event and then compile it save it actually I'm not going to save it because I'm probably not going to I'll just close out without saving so when you start the game five seconds will count down on a timer it will call this event here the event will fire off after this timer is selected how much time it should wait so any value between 10 so from 10 seconds to 30 seconds the delay will then fire off on the switch run in it will randomly select one of these values between the random and integer and range it will then fire off one of these events which are these ones here and then after that short delay and pause it will reset it will play the random event again so the code will start from the beginning and it'll go back through this over and over and over again so let's play and then we should see a random light show if I've done it correctly we shall see so we had the five second delay on event begin play and then the random delay between 10 and 30 seconds it might pick the on as well so it could have picked the on event you can have a look at what it's doing here let's select debug so we're currently on a delay here so it must have picked one of the on events so you can see here now in the code it's doing the countdown on our delay event I might actually shorten this just to show you so it's a bit easier I'm not too sure why I picked 30 seconds but you know that's that is what it is and um, so two seconds later it's going to call this event again it's going to play this event with a 12 13 second countdown after that it's going to then pick one of these let's hope it picks the light off so three seconds let's go in so there you go it picked the light off and that one so it must have gone super quick so we've got two lights down so let's quickly have a look at this uh, we have a very short delay so let's do two and four and we'll do the same for this one two and four and then we'll do uh, a two second delay on this so let's start <clears throat> so it'll be very random sometimes it'll pick on sometimes it'll pick off but the more random you want it the more events you create and then you'll see it randomly turning lights on, randomly turning lights off. So we've got two that have gone off, the white one's still on. The white one might go off, and then the red could come on. There you go, so they've all gone off so far. And then eventually they'll all come back on. But it's random, so you never know. It's going to make me a liar, isn't it? It's going to be like, nah. I'm gonna gonna constantly not pick a uh, the on code. Oh, actually, did I did I not set a value? Yeah, I did. Light on, light off, light on, light off, light on, light off. Okay, let's remove the delay from that one and delay from that one, <clears throat> and let's try that code again.
Let's have a quick look. I'm glad it's kind of playing up because then I can at least see why it's not working. So we've got blue going off. There we go. So we've got a random light event. So it's my fault. I made a mistake. So the mistake there being, at least I'm man enough to admit it, right? So the mistake there being is that I forgot that you just put five. I put six. So when it was calling six, it was breaking. Um, but yeah, at least now you know that if you do make a mistake like that, then you can control... Um, well, at least now you know how to, con to, to fix that problem. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a random light show going on in front of us. Um, which is pretty cool. So you could play around with this, make your own custom events. And yeah, let me know what you come up with. So if you want to help this channel, uh, you can hit that like button, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, obviously subscribing, which is free for you guys, but it really, really helps support my channel grow, which enables me to give you more content like this, which helps you learn the engine, the software. Um, if you've got any questions, you can find me over on Discord. The link expires every seven days. Um, so if the link's not working please let me know and I'll update it as soon as I can but yeah so please like subscribe to help me out because I help you out guys and I really do appreciate all the support it's absolutely awesome you've helped me reach over a thousand subscribers now I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart I really do honestly um, it's such an amazing feeling to see the channel growing um, but yeah I'll see you all guys in the next video Leave me any comments if you've got any questions. Take care. Bye-bye for now.